Hello viewers, we are continuing with, the, with our series of Excel Fundamentals and today we are looking at the keyboard shortcuts. So we have completed a tour of all the Excel ribbon. In other words, we've looked at all the sections that are making up the Excel ribbon. And now let's talk about how we can use the keyboard to keep up in the ribbon to get things done really quickly. So let's zoom in a little bit on our spreadsheet. Remember that shortcut that we mentioned for zooming in and out. So it's going to be control plus alt plus equal sign control plus alt then equal sign to zoom in a little bit so we are zooming a little bit but let's not forget that control alt to zoom to zoom in and out of the file that we are working in so so we are zooming in to a high mag magnification level and we are gonna we are going to go across to cell d2 can maybe try to look at cell d2 here that's in the middle and we try to put in something in here we've gone up up to cell d2 and let's just put in a number let's assume we are going to put in a number let's put cobra 8 in that cell d2 and hit enter so we have something to work with now let's pretend that we are using the mouse and all we want to do is change the fill color for this cell. So we are using, we are pretending that we are using the mouse and we want to change the fill color for this. We want to change the fill color for this, for this cell. So what we are going to do, if at all we find our cursor has been, let's say, in the formula section of the ribbon. If you want to change the fill color here, and we're using the mouse, we have to first go to the home screen, because that's where we find the fill color. So the first thing we, we do, we first click the home screen. And then we need to find this tiny drop down arrow here for fill color and it will open up a dialog box that's like dialog box and then we could go and select a different color a different fill color like maybe we can select a blue one a blue one so when you click on it we've seen that we have changed the fill color but now if you are accustomed to using the mouse you may you 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 may not think that there is any anything wrong with that because now for someone who is more convenient in using the mouse you may find that there is nothing we've done wrong in that in that thing that we've just done but the thing the thing is that if you use the keyboard to do the same we can do it in we can do it in much more faster or quickly than how we went through using the mouse so i arguably request that you be able to use the keyboard because the most important key on your keyboard for Excel 
is gonna be the alt key because that's gone that's going to allow you to get up into the ribbon because if you if let's say if you just tap the alt key or the options key on a mark you are going to see that it puts you it puts all the letters up on onto the interface of the excel surface because if you just click the alt key it puts those first letters you are seeing and those letters they are representing each section of the ribbon so and if we want the home section of the ribbon to be the next one then it means we are going now to tap h because now we are seeing on home we are seeing there is letter h below that so we tap h when you tap h it puts these next letters up here you are seeing those different letters that we are seeing but what we want right here is the h again for a fill right because now we are seeing for a fill right or a fill color we have an h so we place h again to have that fill color so when you press that h the second h it takes you into that palette of fill color now we can use the arrows to select the different fill color and then we hit enter you can just be moving around with your arrow the moment you keep on moving with your arrows you are seeing the cell is changing the colors are keep the colors keep on changing if you press enter then that fill color will re will remain there so so now let's let's now try to look at how we might remove the fill color with the keyboard because we've put that fill color with the with the keyboard so now what we want to know how do we remove that fill color with a keyboard without using a mouse it is the same procedure we click or we tap the alt key when you tap the alt key we have to tap again h4 for home because we know a fill color is in the home section of the ribbon so we click or we tap h and when you tap h it brings those letters and again we have to select h again for a fill color but now we are going to go here and tap n when you tap n for no fill if you tap n it will remove that because that n was on no fill meaning no color no fill color just like the way we've done it so if this is your first time using the keyboard it probably feels pretty slow and maybe a little bit uncoordinated or uncomfortable but it gets so much faster with practice and it is a good idea to invest in the keyboard skills for the long term benefit so i just want you to watch how fast it can be as an example maybe let's say we are going to quickly add fill color and then quickly remove the fill color just like this what are we going to do we click alt h we are going to click alt h h we are going to click alt alt h h alt h h h h and we are now done with our color and we can just select any color that we we feel we want to press enter
so for us now to be able to remove that for us to be able to remove that uh, fill color what we do we click alt h h n and now it has disappeared so it is very very quick now before we move before we move on to the next thing remember you can access any part of the ribbon with the keyboard so that is that is using the alt key let's just assume maybe you want to go to the page layout right up here when you want to go to page layout then we are just going to tap p and we are already in our page layout and now we can change the orientation maybe because now if you want to tap the orientation you can just tap o letter o and we could do switch to maybe landscape because we are in portrait that's one 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 way we can actually do that the other thing is that we can actually go we can press the escape key remove those we can also go to the data section of the ribbon so we just tap the alt then we go we go to a for data so if you wanted to go across say to validation it would be right here so we just click v and the v will take us to validation but we don't have any data that we are in we are working with so we can click escape key to remove those from there so it is really quick so for you to go to validation it will be alt v v and you are already there so it is really really quick v then v and you are already in data validation so those are some of the things that we can actually focus on instead of using our mouse we are focusing on using the keyboard and we are doing it really quickly we can maybe cancel this out so we can try maybe to go to the view section it is alt you click the alt key then you go you go to w for for view and if maybe if you wanted to look at freezing pens over here we are seeing it is a letter f sorry it is alt w and f freezing pen and we could either freeze the top row with an r or the first column with a c so it is really faster to use the keyboard to get up into the 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 ribbon so what i'm focusing on here is that however awkward it may it may feel as you go through this course please try using the keyboard because it is really going to help you in the long run it is something that we are putting ourselves to but it is going to help us in the long run because for now we are just taking a step ahead of what we want to actually achieve so that's what we that's what we wanted to look at in terms of the shortcuts because there are very many we can't we can't really finish all of them but you can also reference because we have a summary sheet you can reference on the on, on that summary sheet let me bring it on the screen and you try to look at that summary sheet that is the summary sheet that we have it has different shortcuts that you can actually look at and be able to understand because 
those are some of the shortcuts that we are going to use when we are doing our financial modeling when we are developing our data models and all that so those are the things that we are going to look at so i've brought out the, i've brought up the summary sheet on the screen here and we are seeing that it has lots of useful keyboard shortcuts that we are going to be using as we progress through the different lessons in this course so let's try to look at the next video and see what we can have in other words we are going to look at the excel settings we look at the the overview of the excel settings we look at some of the things that we need to set up right from the start that will help us have the right things that we need when we are doing financial analysis so that's all for today until we meet again it's bye for now but let's meet in the next video